Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, once again, we're uh, beginning a new series of talks uh, this week. So I hope you'll stick with it and that um, there'll be an encouragement and help uh, to you. I'm going to read, uh, first of all, uh, from Matthew's Gospel chapter 19 and verses 13 to verse 15 which says this then were there brought unto him little children that he should put his hands on them and pray and the disciples rebuked them but Jesus said suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me for of such is the kingdom of heaven and he laid his hands on them and departed thence at one time uh, whether it be the queen or the prime minister the factory worker or the grocer the bin man or the doctor and so on they were all once children they were all once children. Dennis, our elder at the assembly, who is now a young 90 years of age, was once a child. We all have to go through childhood, no matter who we are. Now, if you were like me, you grew up with brothers and sisters. I had two brothers and two sisters, all who are still alive. But if you like my wife, Jean, you were an only child, so that when she married me, she immediately gained a whole new family of brothers-in-laws and sister-in-laws. Tommy Cooper, one of my favourite comedians, along with Ken Dodd, both of whom I saw live on stage and nearly died of laughter, he said, that he was so ugly as a baby that when he was born the midwife slapped his face <laughs> I remember when I was a baby I didn't like it one little bit <laughs> but we all have childhood memories some bad and some good for my series of talks this week it was suggested uh, by someone I won't tell you their name in case you uh, gang up on her for encouraging me that I should speak perhaps on children of the Bible and that's what I'm going to do God willing in this new series of talks this week without it being like a, a Sunday school class so I'm sure some of you uh, listening miss having Sunday school and being involved in children's work it's something sadly that many churches have given up on because they don't have the children in their congregation or those fit and able uh, to do the work. One of my uh, youth leaders at the church I attended in Manchester when I was a youngster was in touch with me only recently. He's now in his 80s and he was saying that he had to give up doing children's work because he gets out of breath. Uh, doing action choruses and because his deafness he can't hear uh, what the children are saying but he is still preaching at his church once a month he says it takes him three weeks to prepare a message so remember that won't you when uh, we have speakers at the hall on a Sunday evening now our talk this morning is more of an introductory one uh, to this series in which I'm going God willing to look at three children mentioned in the Old Testament and two in the New Testament but what I wanted to simply and briefly emphasize to you uh, this morning was the importance that our Saviour the Lord Jesus Christ gave to children and the lessons to be learnt from it. In our reading from Matthew chapter 19, 
verses 13 to 15, which we also have recorded by Mark and Luke uh, with minor differences. We have this lovely little incident when parents brought their children uh, to Jesus for his blessing and which the disciples protested about, no doubt trying to protect him from what they thought were unimportant matters. It's interesting to note that whenever they did this kind of thing, Jesus overruled them. And so we see here that our Lord gladly welcomed these youngsters along with their parents who desired the best for them. And we could desire uh, no better thing for our children and for our grandchildren, maybe our great-grandchildren, than the blessing of God upon them and in their lives as they grow up in this fallen and sin-cursed world. The attitude of the disciples, we have to say, is strange because prior to this, he had already taught them to receive children in his name and to be careful not to cause any uh, to stumble. So in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 1 to 5 we read, at the same time came the disciples unto Jesus saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. But it seems that uh, the disciples soon forgot what he had taught them, uh, which is not surprising when they had been disputing over who is the greatest in the kingdom of God. And Jesus had to put them right, using children uh, to teach them. Here then he has to teach them again that a person could only receive the kingdom of God when he did so or she did so as a little child meaning in a spirit of unquestioning humility and dependence on the goodness and the mercy of God as Jesus emphasizes to us in Matthew chapter 18 and verses 1 to 3. What a dangerous thing it is then to look down on children when the Lord values them so highly or to believe a child cannot have faith in God uh, when they are young. How many Christians there are who trusted in the Lord as their personal saviour when they were young, I for one. In this new series of talks then, we shall be looking at children of faith whom God used to bring him honour and glory. So pray much then for those children you know and come into contact with, especially those within your own family, that they may trust in the Lord Jesus and never give up on them, even if they are now grown up and have children of their own. Remember, God hears and answers prayer, but in his own time and in his own purposes, and not always ours, however persistent we may be. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we begin this new series of talks on children in the Bible, we pray that you'll help us to learn the lessons that we can uh, from them. And Lord, through that, make us stronger as Christians. Grant thy blessing then upon your word and be with us now throughout this day. Bless, Lord, our children and keep them safe and watch over them during uh, this pandemic uh, crisis. 
and we pray lord that uh, even through all that is going on around us uh, little ones will come uh, to know and to love the saviour because we pray and ask this in his name amen well lord bless you today and uh, hope you'll tune in uh, tomorrow uh, for the first uh, child that we're going to look at in the scriptures. Amen.